So she made a video today, report this guy has over 2,000 views already. And look, post if somebody would post such a hateful video about something. Most importantly is, never ever give them your email or password. I know it's your friends or whatever, but keep your account safe and yourself. And one more thing, gotcha never quits. So yesterday was a funny video. We learned that Sherbase 12 is scared. He's a coward. He keeps doing these like weird tactics, try to get his attention, but in reality, he's the one that's scared and he's the one that's a coward. So go watch that video. I went off on him. It was a roast of Sherbase 12. I think that might be the end of Sherbase 12. I mean, he's trying to target other people besides me now. But in this video, we're going to learn some more information, how he's still scared, how he's targeting younger gacha tubers. Instead of me now, he's trying to target younger gacha tubers. Like, this is the biggest facepalm ever. Plus, there's a bigger gacha tuber that didn't make a statement about the situation, which I want to cover in this video as well. So before we continue with this video, if you're new around here, subscribe, hit that notification bell. This way, you can receive my videos once uploaded. So notification squad day is going towards Vexy. Glitchberry D7 and also Rain ZXR. So notification squad day goes the very first three people who come up a video gets inside opportunity in my next video. So if I was you, I'll hit that notification bell. Get that easy shout out my channel. Speaking about easy shout outs to my channel, let's do the Discord shout out of day. So the question was, which gotcha tuber? Posted my thumbnail on our committee page and pinned my comment about this JG challenge. I'm not going to say the name because YouTube's very sensitive. Hint, her channel was hacked by the Vance hackers and now it's back. So the correct answer is coming from Luna, the AFK cat, pastel cookie. So the Discord shout day goes the very first person who answers the question right. Plus you get the shout out winner roll. So it's going to be a permanent thing. I think it's a cool feature I'm going to have on this channel as well. So if you want to be part of the Discord shout out day. Or if you want to be part of the Discord server. You have to be at least 13 years old. It is Discord rules not mine. So I think it's a cool feature. Have that shout out winner roll. Plus get that shout out. So it's a cool thing if you want to join the Discord server as well. So now let's go to the statement by Elijah1997. So when you go to her channel she has over 408,000 subscribers a, a huge channel although gotcha folk cannot win why because they send suspicious and weird links on their videos or any social media that's not going to work and when they hack their account they can make a second account or get their accounts back gotcha community is still rising because there are millions of people who are joining gotcha community remember this do not click any links do not reply any social media if your favorite gotcha tuber or staff which is fake do not give them attention. Do not give them attention. They're planning to build up their channel. Most importantly is, never ever give them your email or password. I know it's your friends or whatever, but keep your accounts safe and yourself. And one more thing, gotcha never quits. So that's a statement from Elijah1997. Like I said, she has a huge channel, over 400,000 subscribers. And this is not just from me. This is not just from like a random person. It has a huge fan base in the gotcha community. So if you're not going to listen to me, listen to Elijah. Make sure you follow those steps and this way you can protect yourself from these advanced hackers. Another thing I want to bring up in this video is, is actually my video that I made yesterday. What they did is, I don't know if it's has to do with UTTP or Sharebase 12 or the other weirdo. So I uploaded my video later Late last night probably like around like five o'clock at 607 it had 67 dislikes not even two minutes before that it was it was up to five so it went from five to 67 in like literally two minutes and give you an indication it was up to 89 likes and five dislikes and two minutes later it was up to 67 dislikes so i was saying to myself okay this is probably a dislike bot and not even an hour later it dropped down to 14 so it wasn't even a dislike bot what it was his little accounts over here pressing dislike pressing dislike pressing dislike so what youtube does when youtube realizes it's like a bunch of accounts from the same ip address or from the same location it actually removes those dislikes this way a person cannot make like 30 or 50 thousand accounts when you go to the youtube studio usually when it comes to dislike bots they're going to give you the channel video link there was no channel video link so these idiots made like 60 accounts and try to decide oh let me press dislike 60 times and I actually received a comment from one of these idiots saying like you deserve 60 dislikes true base hater haha <laughs> get 60 dislikes you stupid hater so this improves me further they made all these boomer accounts to try to dislike my video so another thing i want to bring up before this video ends is actually coffee toffee so coffee toffee has 7.5 
thousand subscribers on YouTube. She's actually doing well for a channel her size. She's just like, but the problem is, they're no longer attacking me. They're attacking Coffee Toffee because she's probably like an instant, probably think it's like easy target. So she made a video today, report this guy has over 2,000 views already. And look, post if somebody would post such a hateful video about something. When you go to the personator channel, I'm not going to show it because it has two videos on there that is very disgraceful and should be reported immediately, should be terminated immediately, and should not be allowed in YouTube. But they have five subscribers, the same name, the same picture. And what they're doing, they're trying to slander, they're trying to tarnish this person's name. Just like how they did with me, which is not going to work. YouTube's going to realize this and people are going to realize this. Like, who are you going to believe? The person with 5 subscribers or the person with 7,000 subscribers? Or in my case, who are you going to believe? The person with 10 subscribers or the person with almost 41,000 subscribers? I don't know. I mean, come on. Apparently, the person that was from my last video that posted the Discord warning ban that's from the UTTP members posted a video about her and made a hateful video. I'm not going to link these videos because what they want, they want attention. If you want to report the personator, just search up Coffee Toffee on YouTube. Report the videos, report the hateful video, and report the impersonator. So apparently what Coffee Toffee does, she has this intro contest. Someone posted this in my Discord server. So this person wrote, so lame, a UTTP person used a Coffee Toffee intro contest, which was made by a YouTuber who wanted to make an intro contest, obviously, and make an intro for the UTTP. So they're using her intro contest to slander her, to tarnish her, to go after her because she's doing very well for a channel her size. She's probably like easy target for them, which is not going to work because people that's watching this video is going to report them. And also people are going to realize, okay, this is the fake coffee toffee. You can see in her video, she's saying, I, I can tell you that video is not true at all. Go report this guy who is pretending to be me. So I'm glad that Coffee Toffee is addressing the situation where she should. I'm really glad that she's not putting any links in there towards the impersonator or towards the person that's trying to get attention because that's the only thing they want. They want attention. They want subscribers. They want views. They want to tarnish this person's YouTube channel. They're doing this for attention and think it's like easy target. I'm glad that she's addressing the situation. Hopefully this impersonator and also this other channel gets terminated and also reported because this should not be allowed on YouTube whatsoever. Even if you hate Gotcha community, even if you hate Roblox community, even if you hate Fortnite community, you shouldn't be just hating people and posting inappropriate, disgraceful, and hatred content towards somebody. So if you find any more information about advanced hackers, quote unquote, or real hackers, or YouTube scams, or or YouTube combots, let me down down the comment section below, give you credit about that. If you're new around here, subscribe, hit that notification bell. This way you can receive my videos once uploaded. You can always follow me on Twitter, the Brett Burns, and also Instagram Brett.Burns. And if you want to purchase a Gotcha Rise merchandise, that link will be down in the description down below as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace guys. Thank you, bye. You never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right